town and sing it red for fun. Happy Fourth, everybody. Please come and join us for our stories today and for a lot of extravaganza going on at all of our branches, Andrews, Carver's Bay, Waccamaw, and Georgetown. Have a safe and happy Fourth, and come join me for this story. Apple Pie, Fourth of July, by Margaret Irvin. Seven days a week, 52 weeks, 364 days a year, and 365 in a leap year. Our store is open. Christmas is the only day we close. Even on Thanksgiving we open the store. Even on New Year's Day. Even today, the 4th of July. I hear the parade coming this way. Boom, boom, boom. I smell apple pie in Laura's oven upstairs. Chow mein in our kitchen. Chow mein, Chinese food on the 4th of July. No one wants Chinese food on the 4th of July. I don't think so. Fireworks are Chinese, Father says, and hands me a pan full of sweet and sour pork. I hear the parade. Boom, boom, boom. I hear the parade passing by. Noon, and customers come for soda and potato chips. One o'clock, and they buy ice cream. Two o'clock, egg rolls. Hmm, they're getting hard. Three o'clock, ice and matches. About four o'clock, and the noodles feel like shoelaces. No one wants Chinese food on the 4th of July, I say. Mother piles noodles on my plate. My parents do not understand all American things. I'm all American. They were not born here. Even though my father has lived here since he was 12, even though my mother loves apple pie, I cannot expect them to know Americans do not eat Chinese food on the 4th of July. So I straighten the milk and the videos and sample a few new candy bars until 5 o'clock. Then, oh my goodness, when two hungry customers walk inside for Chinese food, I tell them, no one, no one came, so we ate it all ourselves. But they smell food in the kitchen now. And mother walks through the swinging door holding a tray of chicken chow mein, and father follows her step for step with a brand new pan of sweet and sour chicken. And three more people get in line. Eleven more at six o'clock, nine at seven, twelve by eight. More and more and more and more. Come for Chinese food. Until it's time to close the store. Time to climb to our rooftop chairs, way up high beyond the crowd. Sorry, we're closed. <gasps> Where we sit and watch the fireworks. And eat our apple pie. Apple Pie, 4th of July. Hey everybody, happy 4th of July. We are going to talk about the French today because they were big allies of ours during the Revolutionary War. And one of the guys that was really important was Lafayette. We have lots of books that include him because he actually visited Georgetown County when he was here during the Revolution. But this is a cool one that's part of the Nathan Hale series. So if you want to check this one out, let us know. Now I'm going to let Miss Natalie take it away. Bonjour mes amis. Je m'appelle Nathalie. We are going to read a book called Mr. Mosquito by Barry Dunlap. Je m'appelle Monsieur Moustique. I am Mr. Mosquito. Je suis rapide. I am quick. Et furtif. And stealthy. Je suis agile. I am agile. Et mal compris. I misunderstood. Méprisé par la plupart. Despised by most. 
Et chassé And chased. Oh. Ils aiment m'écraser. Aïe They love to swat me. Et m'écrabouiller. Oh And squish me. Je suis Monsieur Moustique. I am Mr. Mosquito. Et je... And I... Ne mords pas! I do not bite. While it may be a little known fact, only the female mosquito bites. Yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday, America! and welcome to Storytime with Carver's Bay Branch Library. Today we're reading Happy Fourth of July, Jenny Swinney by Leslie Kimmelman and illustrated by Nancy Coate. Sun's up high, Fourth of July, lots of preparation for a day of celebration. Jenny Swinney washes rags, Mrs. Berger hangs up flags. Fireman Mike scrubs down his truck, quitting his beginner's luck. The Dollar family smiles proudly. We're Americans now, they proclaim loudly. Arjun dashes through the spray. That rascal rags, he runs away. Lisa practices her twirling. Lewis salutes the flag unfurling. Mr. Jonas finds his cap. Baby Lily takes a nap. Mayor Swanson writes her speech. Rags keeps running out of reach. Mr. Hill fires up the grill. All the family eats their fill. Kay toots her piccolo. Jenny ties a big red bow. Emma finishes her float. Uncle Sam wants you to vote. Mayor Swanson tests the mic. Jenny's ready on her bike. Jimmy Yang sips lemonade. Look, it's time for the parade. Let the celebration start. Everybody plays a part. Gladly, proudly down the street, joyful music, marching feet. Fireworks light up the dark as Jenny watches in the park. What a party, what a day. Happy birthday, USA. Thank you guys for reading with us. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day and remember, reading is fun to your mental. Okay, so today we're gonna do a 4th of July craft. It's um, using something that you probably have at home, I would imagine at this point, uh, a toilet paper roll. Um, I think we all have at least one of those floating around and some plain tissue paper Some ribbon, you know if all you have at home is Christmas stuff, you know, whatever use that if it's just plain red or it's another color It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to look exactly like this. That's the The nice thing about a lot of these crafts is that they're very adaptable because they're just pretty much a basic idea And then you can run with it and do whatever you'd like so it's a little party cracker. Um, I chose to put candy inside. You could put toys or, or you know, um, confetti if you want to put that in and make a big mess. That's up to you. Um, I, of course, 
Joe's Candy. Um, so to do it, it's really simple. You have a sheet of tissue paper. I'm just going to fold it in half. And in half again. That makes it easier to cut. I'm just going to cut along the sides. About four sheets should be enough to not see the, the cardboard through it. You can put a piece of tape here, especially if little ones are going to be rolling it up, it'll be easier for them to roll, but I can just roll it myself. Just realize I forgot to stick the candy in it, but that's okay. Stick the candy in. some ribbon around it. I did two on each side so it has four strands once it's tied. already curling that's fine like this one is but if you want to curl the ribbon you just run scissors along the edge of it. it makes that very satisfying sound and nice tight curl <laughs> And then once you're done tying them, you can either give them to the kiddos to decorate or give them stickers to put on or paint or crayons, whatever you'd like to decorate the outside with. You can print off something on your printer if you have a, a printer at home and you'd like to make stickers for it. You could write people's names on them if you're going to have people over and let them sit, you know, make them a, a little... Um, place setting for people. Um, yeah, it's just very versatile, very easy to adapt to what you've got at home. I mean, you could honestly even use paper towel to cover the outside if that's all you've got. <laughs> Cut a paper towel roll in half and you got two of them out of that. And that's it. I had some little star stickers, so I just used them. You can put glitter glue on it because you know I love glitter glue. And that's it. Pretty simple. Yankee Doodle. Yankee Doodle came to town riding on a pony, stuck a feather in his hat, and called it macaroni. Yankee Doodle. Derechito a la ciudad, o Yankee va en un pony, una pluma en el sombrero y grita macaroni. Yankee Duro, keep it up, Yankee Duro dandy. Mind the music and the step, and with the girls be handy. Yankee, qué elegante estás, Yankee, siempre así serás. Yankee, a todas las muchachas, tú conquistarás. Yankee Doodle, keep it up, Yankee Doodle, dandy. 
Mind the music and the step and with the girls be handy. Every 4th of July, Americans have the chance to show their pride in their country. In between the picnics and the fireworks, people across the United States ask themselves if we have created the nation our forefathers had in mind. Are we really a land of opportunity for all people? Do we treat our citizens equally? Are we living in a country our children will be proud of?